students this is um, dr r balaji physics faculty here i would like to give a lecture on uh, dielectric materials in which uh, video i will discuss about the ferroelectricity and the piezoelectricity ferroelectricity so when a dielectric material exhibits electronic polarization even in the absence of external field it is known as ferroelectrics and these materials are termed as ferroelectrics this definition is somewhat similar to ferromagnetism in case of magnetic materials or when a magnetic material exhibits uh, spontaneous magnetization even in the absence of external magnetic field is known as ferromagnetics and this phenomena is known as ferromagnetism so this concept which is somewhat similar to ferromagnetism now ferroelectrics ferroelectrics are anisotropic crystals which exhibit spontaneous polarization that is the exhibit polarization in the absence of external electric field so exactly similar to ferromagnetism in magnetic materials example lead zirconite barium titanate potassium niobate lithium niobate these are the examples of ferroelectricity these ferroelectrics which play the very important role in many uh, engineering and medical fields now what are the properties of this uh, ferroelectric materials first point is the dielectric constant of these uh, ferroelectric material is about 2000 and uh, it will not vary with respect to temperature the dielectric constant reaches maximum value only a particular temperature called curie temperature the polarization does not vary linearly with respect to the electric field so these materials are called non linear dielectrics ferroelectrics exhibit electric polarization very easily even the absence of external electric field they exhibit domain structure similar to ferromagnetism uh and uh, ferroelectric materials also exhibit hysteresis curve similar to the ferromagnetic materials now what are the applications of uh, ferroelectrics ferroelectric materials are used to produce ultrasonic waves ferroelectrics are also used in sonar and uh, strain gases ferroelectric semiconductors are used to make positors which are turn are used to measure and control the temperature and ferroelectric materials are used to frequency stabilizers and crystal controlled oscillators and these ferroelectric materials which are used to production of capacitor microphones gas filters etc electrics are also used to bond the fractured bones in human body so this is a short answer question next one is piezoelectricity these materials have the property becoming electrically polarized when mechanical stress is applied so let us consider a piezoelectric material this is the piezoelectric material let us say this is piezoelectric material suppose when we are applying the mechanical stress this is called mechanical axis and this is called electrical axis so when we apply the mechanical stress on mechanical axis then the positive charge carriers are accumulated at one place and the negative charge carriers are accumulated at other place the electric field is generated and accordingly there is a some electric potential so when in the in piezoelectric materials when we are applying the mechanical stress on mechanical axis then it will generates the electrically polarized on electrical axis this is called piezoelectric effect the converse of piezoelectric effect is also possible now this is the piezoelectric material when we are applying the field along electrical axis the crystal is vibrates along mechanical axis 
this is called the converse of or the reverse of piezoelectric effect so based on this property now let us consider this is a piezoelectric material and it is placed in the parallel bit capacitor it means we are applying some field along the electrical axis then the crystal is vibrates along its mechanical axis in this manner this piezoelectric materials generally you preferred in electrical oscillators and to produce the ultrasonic waves we prefer piezoelectric effect so according to universe piezoelectric effect when an electric stress is applied the material become strained the strain is directly proportional to the applied field e when piezoelectric crystals are subjected to compressor tension opposite kind of charges are displaced at the opposite forces perpendicular to the direction of the applied force the charges produce the proportional to the applied force so piezoelectric effect which is aps in two ways one is called piezoelectric effect and other one is converse of piezoelectric effect in case of piezoelectric effect you are applying the mechanical stress along mechanical axis then the voltage is develops along the electrical axis the converse is when you are uh, applying the electric field along electrical axis then the crystal is vibrates along mechanical axis so based on this uh, you will produce the ultrasonic waves applications the single best example of piezoelectric materials are quartz single crystal of quartz is used for filter resonator and uh, delay applications uh rock salt is used as a transducer of gramophone pickups earphones hearing aids microphones etc the commercial ceramic materials are used barium titanate lead zirconate uh, lead titanate these are very useful for voltage generation uh, accelerometers transducers like that piezoelectric semiconductors such as uh, uh gallium sulfide zinc oxide cadmium sulfide are finding applications as uh, amplifiers of uh, ultrasonic waves so uh, these uh, piezoelectric effects and ferroelectric effects in dielectrics which are having a number of applications in medical and uh, electrical field so this is uh, a small information regarding the piezoelectric effect and uh, uh, ferroelectric effect this is a very important uh, short answer question in this unit thank you thank you very much